following the events of the two most recent Alien films, Prometheus and Alien, Covenant, fans have a basic understanding of the engineers and what their purpose is in the universe, seeding life across the cosmos and now, it seems one forgotten species created by the engineers has proven tough enough to kill even the Predator. Engineers were introduced in the film Prometheus with the opening scene of the film depicting one of the members of this ancient alien species standing on the shores of a lifeless planet drinking a black goo that broke down their DNA and dispersed their genetic material, allowing the broken strands of DNA to grow into separate organisms that would eventually populate the Earth. Not only did the engineers create human life, but they also gave life to the xenomorphs using the same black goo first shown in the opening scene of Prometheus. In Alien, Covenant, it appears as though the synthetic, David, is able to reverse engineer the xenomorph species after it was seemingly already created by the engineers thousands of years before. While humans and xenomorphs have proven to be deadly creations of the engineers, there is one species that puts them both to shame and the predator proves it. In Predator, Fire and Stone No. 2 by Joshua Williamson and Christopher Mooneyham, a predator named Ahab has taken over a human spaceship and forces the captain to fly him to where he needs to go but before the comic gets into that, the issue takes readers on a trip back in time to when Ahab encountered a species that was just as vicious as the predators themselves. In the opening pages of this book, readers are introduced to an alien species unlike anything they've seen before. This race has red skin, horse-like muzzles, and four arms, and their entire civilization seems to be barbaric in nature, making each of them more deadly than the last. Just as readers are settling into this strange new environment, these creatures are suddenly being massacred by the predator Ahab. Once one of the creatures recognizes the iconic shimmer as a deadly foe, they are able to significantly harm the predator and even slice out one of Ahab's eyes in the process. While Ahab is eventually victorious in this hunt, the creatures he's hunting more than prove how proficient they are in hand-to-hand -hand combat even over humans and xenomorphs. Humans usually beat predators by playing the long game and eventually outsmarting them or catching them off guard at a pivotal moment during their conflict. Xenomorphs tend to take the exact opposite approach when fighting predators as they completely overwhelm the Yauja with sheer numbers, and any wound the predator inflicts does more harm than good due to the xenomorph's acid blood. Essentially, while humans and xenomorphs are worthy adversaries to predators, they don't compare to the combat efficiency exhibited by these four armed children of the engineers. After the fight between Ahab and the mysterious alien warriors, the predator stumbles upon a mural of the engineers, proving that this is one of the planets that they gave life to. This means that not only do these aliens share an origin with both humans and xenomorphs, but they also outshine both species in terms of their threat level to predators, making them perhaps the most dangerous life forms created by the engineers in the alien and predator universe. With a gentle touch you tell me what